Hi guys, it's Lone Gamer here. Um, got a video for you today uh, about um, a couple of requests I've had about um, how to install the mods on um, Cold Waters with uh, Subsim. So I thought I'd do a little instructional video just to uh, go through it. So the first thing that you need to do if you're playing Cold Waters and you want to install the mods um, is join uh, subsim.com. So if you have a look um, at the screen, you've got www.subsim.com. So you just need, it's free to join, you just need an email to register. So you register um, on with them and you should get a um, an acceptance pretty much straight away within a minute or two. Um, and then if you log in and you go to downloads, um you've got these links here community facts downloads register go to downloads you'll come to this screen here you'll see cold waters is the third one down so you click on cold waters and you'll have several uh, mods there the one you want to go to is the one at the top that says gameplay mods so click on gameplay mods then you'll go into this screen and the mod you want is the second one from the bottom currently which is new playable subs and more now there are other mods, but this is the only one I play, and it's uh, jack of all trades. It has uh, lots of things. So if you click on that, you'll see it's done by Captain X. A big shout out for him because it's a wonderful mod. It's regularly updated. You'll see the latest update was done on the 26th of August, and you'll see a list of all the submarines that it has, um, and some of the other features that it has in the in the mod. And to download this mod, all you need to do once you're registered is click that link, and it will download the folder. Uh, zipped to your downloads uh, folder so register download uh, and then go to the file now once you've uh, downloaded that what you want to do is um, you effectively download um, a zip file like this that will say Russian subs it won't say four but it will say Russian subs and that will be in your downloads folder now I would leave a copy of it in your downloads folder for a record in case you need to go back and install older mods um, but you can copy it and move it um, into your cold waters folder now the path the folder you want to go to is the streaming assets folder within your steam cold waters game so the path it will be on your c drive d drive e drive whatever you've got but it will be steam and then steam apps common cold waters cold waters data and then streaming assets now, the first time you do this, you will only have one folder and it will say default. That's the only folder that will be in the streaming assets folder when you first look at it. What you'll do is you'll um, copy this from your downloads and put it into this folder and then you'll extract it here, extract all. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, but essentially you will extract it and then you'll get a Russian subs folder. Uh, below this one that will just say Russian subs it will look like a normal folder and all it will have in it is a folder that says override so you just take the override folder from the Russian subs folder and drop it in the steam assets folder so then you've got default and override if you've got this folder and then another one that just says Russian subs that's not a zip folder you can just go ahead and delete them and move it to your bin so that all you'll be left with in this folder is the default folder and the override folder and inside the override folder will be uh, you know the the mod and you don't need to touch anything else essentially once you've done that and it's unzipped override now obviously when you update it um, a second time or third time what you want to do is um, delete the override folder completely send that to your your bin and then just put and replace it with a new override folder you don't need to change certain folders just take out override altogether and put the new one in uh, if the russian sub sims and more brings out a, a later update uh, a word of warning going back to here is that if this gets updated if you're in the middle of a campaign um, often the subs will change the weapons will change it's a very high probability that you'll save game Will mess up um, if you update the mod um, midway through a campaign because what you're using might have changed um, so you've, you, what you've got saved is old and what you've now running is new so my advice is is to only update the the mods the uh, this uh, subsim and uh, uh, subsims and more mod 
um, in between campaigns. Don't do it in the middle because as I say there's a high chance it will mess up your your save folder. Um, if you do do it by mistake, I have found a way to undo that as long as you've kept the old version of the mods in your downloads you can go back and and change it to an older your your previous mod that you had when it did it work and then your save games will still work and you'll still be able to complete your campaign um but yeah that's just a bit of advice so that you don't knacker your campaign up um so that's all you need to do on the website and download and then you'll end up with this override folder and default folder in that path that you see there once you've done that, that's the update. That's it. It's as simple as that. There, there isn't really that much to um, installing the mods uh, for this game. What I would say is that a couple of people have downloaded the betas in their library, but they're not actually running the beta on Cold Waters. So if you want to run the beta, um, and pretty much the same with any uh, Steam game, is you need to right-click on the game in your library tab and go to Properties. You'll see four tabs that will pop up. One of them will say Betas. And by default, it will say none, opt out of all beta programs. You want to change that to where it says beta, like I've got there. And then not only will it have downloaded the beta, but it will actually run and and use the beta when you're playing. Because some people have downloaded it and say, oh, I've got it because it's pat, you know, it, down, it, up, it upgraded on Steam. But unless you've opted in there on that tab, you won't actually be running the beta. Now they're betas, so they're optional, whether you want to run them or not. And you can toggle that on or off in your Steam library, uh, through the Properties tab, as I've just shown you there. Uh, as long as you've put the mods in the folder, what I would do is uh, close down Steam, um, reopen Steam and run the game again, uh, and everything should be up and running, and you should have uh, the latest version of the beta running, and uh, you should have the Subsims and More mod running on your game. Uh, if a new mod comes out, and you're not in between camp uh, you're not running a campaign uh, you're doing single missions or you're in between a campaign and all you need to do is download the new uh, subsims and more folder replace the override folder with another one uh, you could overwrite it but i think it's safer some just to delete the old one put the new one in um, do that with the game obviously not running uh, close it all down and run it again and then you'll have the latest mod uh, running for cold waters uh, and that, people, is about it. That's all there is really to installing the mods um, and running the game. Um, but once again, it's subsim.com. Um, go to Downloads. Go to Cold Waters. Go to Gameplay Mods. And then New Playable Subsim More is the one you want by Captain X. And download that and use the... Uh, path instructions just one last tip before i go you'll see that what i've done on my desktop is i've actually created a shortcut to the cold water streaming assets folder that's not a bad idea to do that if you play the game regularly and you install the mods fairly regularly so that uh, you can just quickly access that folder and put the new override folder in uh, as and when you want to uh, otherwise that's it really um, if you've got any questions uh, please um, let me know in the comment section uh, I hope the video might help some players uh, be able to install mods. It's uh, not as difficult as uh, other games. Um, it's been made a very uh, easy game to mod and install by Cold Waters and Killerfish Games. Uh, so I hope that brings some uh, clarity to, to your gaming and that you enjoy the mods like I do. Um, please watch me on Twitch or uh, uh, YouTube. Uh, subscribe or like the channels and I hope you found this video uh, somewhat in, uh, instructional. Otherwise, happy gaming. This is Lone Gamer UK. I'll see you again soon.